Let's go ahead and get right into it today. We're going to be talking about Bulgarian split squats, and here are some timestamps so you can jump to whichever area of the video you might need specifically. Starting off here, we're going to just look at a couple smooth reps of what the exercise is. This is a unilateral movement, meaning we are focusing on one leg at a time, shown here by being my front working leg. Now, when we talk about the working muscles of this exercise, a big part of it comes down to the shin angle shown here, where a deeper shin angle will make this more quad dominant, whereas a more vertically stacked lower leg on top of the ankle will keep it a more hip dominant glute activating type exercise. Both of those muscles are going to work regardless. It's just a matter of leaning one direction or the other depending on what results you are looking to maximize. Continuing with that thought, if you're trying to focus more on hip complex activation through the glute, you're going to want to keep your weight centered in the midfoot towards the heel. Whereas if you're trying to get more knee activation, you'll want to keep that weight further up towards the ball of the foot. Setting up for the movement here, I take a moderate step forward and decide to brace my core. This is a common misconception that people get where they will hinge from the hips forward and have laxity in the core towards the bottom of the movement. It's understandable because so much effort is being put on trying to squeeze the legs, but when you fatigue and start to excessively hinge forward, this completely changes the dynamics of the lift and can put unnecessary stress through the lower and mid back shown here. Now there are a ton of exercise variations that we can use for this exercise, which makes it a great addition to your program. What I'm showing here is a very slow controlled eccentric loading. Tempo is one of the easiest ways to modify any exercise. The difference between the first reps and the reps I'm showing here is monumental. If I just wrote five reps, well, is it at the first tempo or the tempo I'm showing here? Maybe a pause rep in there. By changing your tempo to reflect your goals, you can really modify any exercise towards more specific outcome measures. As referenced earlier, paying attention to the shin angle and level of dorsiflexion at your foot can really impact the muscles activated during the exercise. Here I'm showing a very close stance Bulgarian split squat, which puts a lot of tension going through my knee joint. Here, I'm taking a much wider stance to it and pressing upwards through the heel. This is going to help activate the glute more and will put my adductors on more of a stretch. Looking at these images side by side, we can see how that flexion at the ankle really changes the knee joint. Here are a few common variations on loading the Bulgarian split squat. Here, I'm showing probably the most commonly seen variation where you're holding two dumbbells at your side. This is a really good for starters because if you get nervous, you can always just drop the weights off to the side, keeping risk lower for this. I also just feel very comfortable position-wise doing this variation. Next, I'm showing you the front-loaded position. This is done similar to a goblet squat by squeezing the dumbbell up front. This is a great way to activate your core if you're struggling with that engagement. Next, I will show you a barbell backloaded variation. I really like this one, but I would recommend you to do it in a squat rack with safety pins set up as this is a more dangerous variation as the barbell is up higher. And finally, this is probably the least commonly seen variation, but my favorite to push max effort with is a floor pull barbell loaded. This is like a single leg deadlift type variation here. When we look at placement of this exercise within your weightlifting program, it really depends on what variations you are doing. If you're planning on loading this heavy, like in the deadlift type position variation, I recommend doing it earlier as one of your core exercises. If this exercise is taking place later on in the training program, I recommend doing variations that focus on increasing intensity through tempo rather than weighted loading as that will decrease the ultimate risk of the exercise. Play it smart. If you're doing more weight, stick it earlier in the workout. If you're using it as a burnout, 
Maybe do a slow eccentric body weight at the end. Feel free to comment any questions down below and I'll make sure to answer them. Have a good one.